official morning, you guys. It is actually almost afternoon time. <laughs> it's been like quite a bit. Eddie just ran and grabbed me. Something just fell off of our table. Eddie just went and got me a Dunkin'. I got a medium iced coffee with butter pecan, which is so good. Oat milk and stevia. Super yummy, so just sipping on that. I spent way too much time this morning. I sat down and was just hanging out and doing some thank you notes because I need to get those done from the wedding. But I spent way too much time making a TikTok. I'm like obsessed. I've always been obsessed with TikToks, but now I'm making TikToks. So if you guys want to go check out my TikTok, I will have it linked down in the description box below because I've been like so obsessed with making them now that I have like more free time. So I spent forever making this one. How cute is it? I don't wanna play the whole thing, so go check me out on TikTok if you wanna see it, but it just makes me so happy. It's like pictures from our wedding and stuff. We're gonna have a little bit of a productive day today. I don't have that much to get done, honestly. Let's see what I have. I wrote this last night while I was watching The Bachelorette just so that I kind of had an idea what I wanted to get done today. So I need to edit and upload, which I already edited one video and it's like halfway ready, but I want to get that posted today and then edit one more video to get up later this week. Cause like I said, now that I'm done with school and have like so much free time, I really want to like grind with YouTube. So that done, I want to work on my thank yous. I have a boatload to write. Probably won't get those done today, but my goal is by the end of the week to get all the thank yous written. I want to go to Target just for the heck of it. There's some things I want to look at. I want to film a little wedding Q&A because I didn't film that before we got married. I want to take a new profile picture and like update my channels and stuff like that because my old one, my like profile picture for everything right now is super old. So I want to update that and I think I might film a TikTok. I have on here to film a TikTok. I just made one, but I think we're going to make another one. I kind of have an idea for something for Target. So. That's kind of what we got going on today. Productive, but like chill at the same time because it's just like what summer's all about. So I think I need to get ready. I'm listening to Wild Till Nine. They're like my favorite podcast ever. And I just found the most like perfect spot. I don't know, you can't see it in the mirror. I, we're almost done decorating the apartment. Like we're really, really, really close. And I put like a shelf above our toilet and it's like the perfect spot to put you guys. But Honestly, our apartment's almost done, so I think that we'll probably do an apartment tour here within like the next month or two. Definitely, probably before I go back to school, which is really exciting, and I'm so happy that it's just about done all of the way. We just need like a couple more things, and then this place will be all the way done, which is really nice. Honestly, it feels so homey, and I just love it so much. Anyway, got a new curling iron. This is a one and a quarter inch curling iron. I have a one inch hot tools that I love, and then I have a one and a half inch con air that i just feel like doesn't hold the curl very well so i got this one in an attempt to learn how to curl my hair better will it work i don't actually know my hair is so long i'm probably gonna chop it soon but i just feel like the hot tools just like holds curl better i feel like my hair falls so fast with the con air one and i just really want like beachy loose waves and i just feel like when I curl my hair with the con air, it just like falls flat, but I still want some wave to it. So we're going to attempt to curl my hair with this and see how it goes. Question mark. Life is a winding road. I don't know why I didn't buy a one and a quarter inch curly iron before, but like, look how much better this looks. It's just nice and natural and wavy. I love this so much more. And I think the curls are going to stay a lot better than they did with my other curling iron. So if you don't have a one and a quarter inch curling iron, this is your sign to go get one. And if you have Amazon Prime, it literally comes to you overnight. Like I literally ordered it Sunday night and got it yesterday. So nice, but also extremely dangerous for my shopping addiction. And speaking of shopping addictions, let's just go and, you know, fuel my shopping addiction some more and head to Target. I need my purse and I need some shoes and then we'll head out the door. And I think we'll go to Target. I might go to Dollar Tree. I feel like we just did this a couple weeks ago, but I've been seeing all kinds of teacher TikToks about Target's new like bins and stuff 
for teachers and I really want to see if my Target has one. And if my Target doesn't have those bins, then we're probably going to go to a couple Targets today because the bins are so stinking cute. I just ran in to Target. I'm currently online ordering Chipotle because I literally have the shakes so bad. It's two o'clock and I haven't eaten. I don't even know why. Like I just was busy doing things. and just like haven't eaten and I'm so hungry and I had way too much coffee and not any food. So I have the shakes so bad and I just, I need food. So Chipotle is, I hope you can just hear the radio. Chipotle is right behind me. So I'm gonna online order my Chipotle. That is ordered. So while we wait, I thought we would do a little haul of some of the things I picked up from Target. I got a hodgepodge of things. I got some teacher things and some like house things. So start with the bins that I've been talking about. I'm so glad they had them. I was so concerned they weren't gonna have them and I'm probably, they like were restocking as we speak. Like I went in there first thing, got some stuff and then they restocked already by the time I was like done in there. So I'm probably gonna get more, maybe return some stuff, but I just wanted to grab what I could, all I could. So I got two of these little supply caddies. I don't know how I'm gonna organize things or what I'm gonna do yet, but I just wanna have it so that I can like set things up and then if I need to return stuff after, then I will, which I still have yet to tell you guys when I'm teaching and all that stuff, unless you follow me on Instagram then you already know, but I'll probably be announcing that in the next couple of weeks. And then I got some of these bins. These are just storage bins. I got two pink and one white. If you guys don't know, I kind of have like a boho rainbow theme. Are we surprised for my classroom? So I honestly was thinking about using these for books. This is, I think what I want to use for books and get some more white, some pink, and then they have some blue. So I want to do like pink, white, blue. I think that would look really nice. And then these are the book things that they had. I don't really know how I feel about these. I feel like these are a little bit big, but I feel like I'd be able to fit a lot of books. So I picked up two pink ones. This is literally all they had. Like I just grabbed whatever they had and I figured I'd deal with the rest later. So those are all of the bins that I picked up. I'm very excited about them. They have like a bunch of different pocket charts and stuff I've seen too, but mine was like literally out of everything. I also picked up this light. I'm like a big light gal. So I got one of these for my classroom. It was literally $9. So super cheap and I hate the overhead lights. So I've been wanting one of those. Oh, I picked up this candle literally just because it smells so good. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. It's sea salt and coconut. It smells seriously so good. So I picked up one of those. I might have to go back and get more. Like it really smells that good. Picked up just one thing of notebook paper wide ruled for my classroom just to like have on hand. So I picked up a phone case, which I'm gonna put on my phone right now. I dropped this one and it like kind of got scraped. And I've also had this phone case since I got my phone like two years ago, I think. So I picked up a new one. How cute is she? Well, I'm an idiot. So this doesn't fit my phone. I swore that I bought the right one, but we'll have to go exchange this for the phone that I need. I grabbed this little bunch of eucalyptus for in our bathroom. I think this, I'll put this in like one of our vases. I hope that works out. And then I just picked up some clothes for myself and Eddie. So I got two, these are more teacher, these are definitely teacher things, but they're just so cute. I couldn't turn them down. So this is a little teacher skirt. How stinking cute is the pattern? The length is everything. This would be so nice to wear in the fall. I can throw a sweater on this. I just really like to have different bottoms like this. So I picked up this cute little skirt. And then I also picked up this nice long maxi dress. It's like a t-shirt and then just goes down and probably hits like around your ankle. So these are just really nice to throw on. And honestly, I'll wear stuff like this out like now. So I got that stuff. I picked up Eddie, this shirt. It's just like a little pocket t-shirt I thought he would like and I liked the color of it. Eddie and I leave for our honeymoon in a couple of weeks and it's an all-inclusive resort and you have to wear pants when you go out to the dinners there. So I just picked him up some of these pants which will be nice because he can wear these to work also. So they're just chino pants. These ones are in a really nice khaki color and then I also picked him up this bluish color, which I think will be really, really nice. I really like this color. I tried to get him to buy these before and then we ended up not buying them. So I picked him up some pants, hopefully these fit and he likes them. And that is everything that I got from Target. So I need to go pick up my Chipotle because I'm so hungry.
All right. Got the goods. Look at how stinking yummy that looks. I did a veggie salad with black beans, white rice, corn salsa, tomato salsa, guac because it's free of charge, and then just cheese on the top. I have I got the vinaigrette on the side, which I probably won't use, but I'm going to watch a YouTube video or two, eat my Chipotle, and enjoy every bite of it because I am just so, so hungry. And then we'll get back to work. It's a little while later now. I just finished filming a video real quick, my wedding Q&A, which I've been needing to film. So I need to update my to-do list, which we are in good shape. So we went to Target. Filmed my q and A. I I updated all of my social media with a new picture, uploaded TikTok. So the only things I have left on my to-do list for today are to edit and upload and to work on my thank you. So we can just kind of hang out, it's five o'clock. I have this book that I wanna read. I have a couple of books that I wanna read for teaching this summer, but this one is called Reading in the Brain, the new science of how we read. It's about the science of reading, which I'm sure you guys have heard about if you're a teacher and if you're not. It's about the science of reading. I've just seen a bunch of TikToks on it. And oh my gosh, there's so much that I want to tell you guys, but I don't want to tell you yet. I was interviewing with this one school and they were talking a lot about the science of reading, which I had just started learning about and it's something that I want to know more about. So I got this book off of Amazon. It looked really good. It's definitely very science-y. It's not like a fun fiction read. Like it's definitely like a learning development kind of read so i think i'm gonna go sit on our little patio read this book for a little bit just kind of hang out and chill i was freezing so this is like my current outfit i threw on this t-shirt just so i could film a video and then i have on like sweatpants and fuzzy socks because my house is so cold and he likes to sleep with it really cold and then it takes forever for it to like warm up during the day so i've been freezing all day which was also why i took a really long break from vlogging because i was so cold i was just hiding under my covers but I think it's pretty warm outside. I'm gonna go read my little book and honestly just wait for Eddie to come home. I miss him when he's not here. I feel like a stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home dog mom who goes and does her target runs and shops way too much. Like I literally feel like I'm a housewife at this point. I need my phone, but it's also just been so fun to have my summers off. I've literally never had this in my whole entire life where I have like extended amounts of time off. The most amount of time I think I've ever had off is like two weeks when I was transitioning from graduating to like subbing and when I got my kindergarten teaching position, that was like two weeks. And I think that was like the longest break that I had had. So it feels like so weird to go this whole summer and just be doing like YouTube and it's so much fun. I just love it so much. I'm just so excited to be doing like all these videos and prepping for next year, which, you know, exciting announcements coming soon, probably in the next couple of videos, but yeah, it's honestly just like so much fun to have the summer off and to, you know, like relax and enjoy myself and do things that I love, spend time doing what I enjoy. 